Hey you crazy crawfish eaters, we are so excited about our crawfish boil this afternoon and if you are as ready to dig in as I am, let's have a little practice so that we can be ready to dig in. First, you want to find the biggest crawfish you can find because those are the easiest to peel. What you want to do is take the tail in one hand and the body in the other hand and give it a little twist to separate that head from the tail. Now. What you have in this hand is the head, and you want to put that away, unless you want to suck the juice out of the head. And if you want to do that, that's fine. Just please sit at a different table than me, because that's just nasty. So for the rest of us, let's put the head away, and then you have the tail. I like to, at the widest part of the tail, I like to peel a few of the sections away, just so I have a little bit more room to grab that meat at the top just a little trash right there, set that aside. Then at the base of the tail where the little flipper is, I give it a pinch to release the meat. And then at the widest part of the tail, I give it a little bit wiggle, and there is the glorious, juicy, tasteful meat. Now if you see here, this tail has a little bit of stuff that doesn't look too appetizing. I just kind of peel that away because I think it's gross. Don't worry, it's not poop. It's just a little fat and a little other body. I put that away and then enjoy the feast. Mm. Oh, by the way, if you come across any crawfish with a tail that's straight like this, just know that he died before he went into the water, so be sure to throw him out because he could hurt your tummy. So go only go after those ones with the curved tail.